ओके सो आई एम गोइंग इन विद माई हॉग एंड आई विल यूज माई लॉग ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एज यू कैन सी दैट ही जस्ट Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So today I will be showing you how to cross mid ladder. So I will try to teach you how to cross from master 1 to master 2. So let's do it guys. So here I'm up against Fabian. So he is coming in with his hog. So I will use my cannon for it. In case if you haven't checked the last video guys, you can check it. I have shown how to cross challenger 3 to master 1. So He is playing a hog rider deck, guys. So let's do it. So we don't have hog right now. So I'm going to cycle my hog. So I will use my log. Okay. So I will go in with my hog and ice golem push. Okay. So he used his executioner from the back. So I will use my hog on the opposite lane. I think he have nado in this deck. So this is a nado executioner deck, guys. I think this one is of Vi viper version. So let's see if he have a valkyrie or not. Okay, so he have mini Pekka, so this is not a Viper deck, guys. Let's see what he have. So he have Lightning as well. So let's try to distract his executioner using our Ice Golem. So he is running a Lightning deck with mini Pekka and Hog. I don't think he have uh, mini Pekka or Nado in hand. So let's see if. he can defend this hog so he used his electro wiz for this hog so let's just use our log and i will just eat all the electro wiz that damage let's go guys so log didn't allowed his electro wiz to get a lot of damage so here i will fireball his executioner along with king tower and princess tower so this will be a very good value for us So we have hog in our hand guys and I will go in with my hog on the opposite lane. And okay so he used his mama pekka on the left side so this is going to be a huge chance for us to get some damage guys. Okay so I will use my musky like that but he will use his nado to pull my musky towards his pekka. So he used his electro wizard to support his mama pekka and here I will fireball both of them and I will go in with my hog on the opposite lane. with the electro spirit supporting it and i think our hog will get one shot which is great so we have a good damage lead right now guys and here i will distract his mini pekka using my skellies so this is a double pekka deck guys and as you can see he used his uh, mama pekka on the right side so i will go in with my hog on the left as we have to be switching lane as we can't allow our opponent to get the counter push on us so here i will use my ice golem on top of his executioner and pekka to distract them okay so here i will place my cannon for his hog and here i will use my ice golem to distract his mini pekka i just misplaced my ice golem guys so i have to use my electro spirit as well so i'm going in with my hog let's see if he is back to his pekka or not so he used his nado on my hog so he used his pekka on the left to defend my hog but i will go in with my hog on the opposite lane and i will be switching lane like this i will place my cannon for his pekka and then i will distract it using my skellies okay so here i'm going to use my ice golem for it and you can see that ice golem will distract his mini pekka as well and here i think our hog will get one shot so we just need one more fireball and lock to finish the match guys so gg's to him and i hope you guys are enjoying the video so hit the like button if you are enjoying and let's move on to the next match so we are in the next match guys and we are up against jordan so let's do it i don't have hog in my first hand so i'm splitting my skellies from the back I will use my fireball on his electro wizard. I don't want to use my log. I will wait, guys. Okay, so he used his dart goblin from the bridge. So I will log it. I hope he don't have goblin barrel. Okay, so he have skeleton barrel. So he used his skeleton king for hog, and I think our hog will get two shots as he used his ice spirit. So it will prevent hog damage. 
Okay, so I will use my ice golem to distract his uh, dark goblin and skeleton king at the same time. I will use my musky to take out his skeleton barrel, and I will also use my uh, electro spirit to chain all the skellies coming out from the skeleton barrel. So here I have hog in my hand, and I also have elixir. Let's see. So I'm going in with my hog on the opposite lane. So he have a cannon. So he have one hog counter, guys. That is cannon. So this is going to be a very good one. Okay, so I will log his uh, dart goblin. So I will split my skelly, and then I will go in with my golem, and also I will use my hog. And I don't think he have cannon anymore. So let's go. So I'm going to use my fireball, and he is back to his cannon. But still, we will get some damage, guys. Okay, so we did got the fireball chip on his electro wizard and princess tower. So we are about to hit 2x elixir guys and let's try to cycle our hog back. So how you guys prefer to play hog cycle like uh, aggressive or defensively comment down below. So I'm going to use my cannon here for his barrel and then I'm going in with my hog and he is back to his uh, cannon and I will also log his uh, dart goblin and we will get some value on his dart goblin along with that uh, ice spirit okay so he is coming in with his dart goblin push guys okay so here i will log his dart goblin so this was a very weird log placement by me okay so i'm going in with my hog he is back to his cannon but i think our hog will get some damage let's see okay so his ice spirit denied all the damage guys so this deck cycles quite fast guys here i'm going in with my hog once again and let's see if he's back to his cannon. So I'm going to drop my musky for his cannon and skeleton king. And I will log his dart goblin. And here I will use my cannon for his skeleton barrel. Okay, so let's try to cycle it. So I'm back to my hog. And let's see if he's back to his cannon. Yeah, so this time I'm going to use my musky like this. To take out his cannon. Okay, so let's see our hog will get some damage okay it is denied by his skeleton king and i'm going to place my cannon for his skeleton barrel and let's drop our ice golem and i'm going to with my hog i will fireball his dart and cannon okay so let's wait guys i think our cannon will take out his dart and he is using his poison to get some damage guys Okay, so we have to be using our fireball as we are about to hit 3x elixir. So hog is not getting in. So we have to cycle our fireball. So here I'm using my fireball to get some chip on his princess tower. So let's uh, use our log for his dart goblin. And let's go in with our hog. Okay, so here I will fireball his dart and cannon and then i will place my cannon for his skeleton barrel and then i will use my ice golem to distract his skeleton king so let's go in with our musky and here i will use my cannon like this and i will also use my log at the same time and here i'm going in with my hog so he is catching up in damage guys and i will use my fireball Okay, so I think he is out cycled guys and I think our musky will get some damage. Okay, so his tower is down to 96 HP. So we just need one fireball. So here I will use my log and then I will fireball to finish his tower. So GG's to him guys. And we just finished him at the last second of this match. So this was a very weird deck which we just faced. We are in the next match guys and we don't have hog in our first hand. So let's try to cycle it so hog is our next card so we have hog right now so i'm going in with my hog and electro spirit so he used his uh, zappies to stop my hog but our hog will get two shots which is great i will log his zappies and i will also get some princess tower chip i think this is a royal recruit deck guys and let's see when he is going to use it so he put down his royal recruit from the back 
and I will use my musketeer for it and here I just misplaced my electro spirit so this was a very bad electro spirit on my part and he will use his fireball on top of my musky so he got a very good value I'm going in with my hog and here I will use my fireball on top of his flying machine and royal recruits and let's try to stop his royal recruits guys okay so our hog got a good damage on his right side tower but i think his royal hogs will get the damage as well so here i will use my cannon to stop his royal hogs and we managed to do it guys so we just need one more fireball to finish off his tower so now i will fully focused on defense so let's see when he is going to build a push so we have to defend for one and a half minute guys and i think he is going to build a very big push and here i will use my ice golem from the back and then i will put my musky like this yeah. he will try to build as big as push as possible so here i will fireball his flying machine as flying machine can get a lot of damage and here i will use my ice golem for his royal recruit and zappies which are coming from the left side so here our musky is going towards his right side tower and he have to use his elixir so here i will use my cannon like this and i think uh, we can defend his royal hogs guys okay so this was a good defense and here i will split my skelly from the back and then i will put my ice golem and here i will use my log on his right side right side uh, royal recruits and i will again place my musky like this okay so here i will fireball and i will use my cannon for his royal hogs and i will also use my log to take out his royal hogs okay so his royal hogs are uh, taken care by musky and cannon and i think i just need one more fireball to finish the match guys so ggs to him and i hope you guys are enjoying the video if you are enjoying hit the like button and let's move on to the next match guys so we are in the next match guys and this will be the last match of the video so let's do it so we don't have hog in our first hand so i will cycle my log so he used his miner and he also used his uh, goblin gang as i didn't have log in my hand that's why he used his goblin gang okay so we have hog in our hand and let's go in with our hog on the right side but first we have to wait for elixir to fill so i'm going in with my hog and electro spirit and here i will use my ice golem to distract his mortar so this is a minor mortar deck guys and here i will use my musky like this and then i will distract his minion horde coming towards my right side tower using skellies okay so i think his motor is locked onto my musky but musky will take care of it so we have quite a healthy musky alive so let's see what he is going to do so he used his spare gobs for musky and i know he have goblin gang so i will try to predict it using my log so he used his motor in the last second and i think our hog will get damaged guys and we also managed to put down our ice golem at time to distract his mortar so our hog got one swing that is great so we have a damage lead early in the match i know this is not that a big damage but still we can manage to win using this damage okay so he also have uh, rascals so let's uh, use our musky from the back and then i will go in with my cannon I think we can catch his minor guys okay so minor is taken out by cannon and then i will use my ice golem to distract his rascals and i think our hog will get some damage but he distracted our hog using his motor so let's use our ice golem like this to distract his goblin gang coming from the left lane and i will also use my cannon and here i think he is going to use his minion horde let's see okay so he used his fireball so he didn't have elixir for minion horde so i think our hog will get three swords which is great here i will split my skellies like this to distract his mortar and then i will use my ice golem for it okay so i'm going to use my cannon but he used his minion horde 
in a very smart way but i will fireball them and i will also use my log for his goblin gang okay so i and i'm going in with my hog but he is back to his mortar i want to fireball here but i will wait guys i will use my cannon like this to catch his miner okay so he is using his miner in front of the princess tower and i will also use my log on top of his rascal girls okay so i'm going in with my hog and i think he is back to his mortar here i want to fireball his mortar and princess tower but i will wait guys as he can use his minion horde anytime okay so i think uh, he is going to get some damage guys so musky is going in from the right side let's see if she will get some damage or not so here i'm about to use my hog on the right side and i will also use my electro spirit for his spear gobs he is back to his mortar i want to fireball here but i will wait guys as we are about to hit 3x elixir and in 3x elixir we can cycle our fireball quite aggressively so i'm going in with my hog and let's see what he is going to play so he used his mortar but i will fireball his spear gobs along with princess tower to get some chip and he used his minion horde to stop the hog okay so i'm going in with my hog and i will use my log on the left side as you can see that he just have given me a lot of value so his tower is down to 625 and i don't think he can come back from this guys let's see so i'm going in with my hog and this time i will use my fireball along with princess tower as we are in 3x elixir and we can cycle it back quite easily so here i will use my log on his goblins and i'm going in with my hog and i think he is going to play his mortar so i'm going to fireball his mortar along with goblin gang so ggs to him guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video guys bye bye